What's up everyone, I'm Coach D. So there's one positive from this election, and that is that Kerry Lake Law, ah, dang it. I guess we gotta wait until Sunday. Okay, after Sunday, we'll celebrate this, but let's move on. Isn't it funny how suddenly there's not a lot of talk about how elections are stolen? Like suddenly, elections are free and fair. Elections seem to be working perfectly. I mean, Donald Trump even tweeted sometime during the vote counts that there was like huge fraud happening in Philadelphia and the police were on the way. That went away suddenly. All of this talk about the election being stolen in 2020 and all of the people who say elections just aren't free and fair, there's so many people who question elections, suddenly they're not doing that anymore. You even have Joe Rogan out there who had an epiphany that, oh, wow, suddenly we realize elections, they do work. So, turns out, voting works. It's real. As much as we fucking <laughs> thought they had it rigged, as much as we thought there were shenanigans and bullshit and it's just a, a puppet show and there's no way anybody could buck the system, turns out, voting is still real. So let's be perfectly clear here. They knew it wasn't stolen. They knew they were lying. We tried to tell you, but no one wanted to listen. And so now they're out here saying, wow, can't believe it. Elections are actually free and fair. Elections are actually legitimate. That's crazy. And here's what's even more crazy about it. People have lost their lives because of this lie. And because of the fact that we elected Donald Trump, he will never be held accountable for this. There are young girls right now growing up whose dads are sitting in prison because they listened to Donald Trump say that the election was stolen and they went to the Capitol and they stormed that Capitol to try and overturn those election results because Donald Trump lied. People like Joe Rogan were complicit in this lie. This is a joke to Joe Rogan. That's why he's saying, wow, you know, it just seems like election. It's a joke to him. It is a joke to him that police officers perished because of that lie. There are young girls and boys right now growing up without their fathers and mothers because they're either in jail or dead because of that lie. But now it's okay to make jokes about it. It's okay to joke about it being a lie while there are serious like residual effects of that lie being told. And again, because we elected Donald Trump, he will not be held accountable. I've seen people holding out for the, you know, Judge Mershon is going to, you know, you know, sentence him to, to that's not going to happen. If you're holding out on that hope, it's not going to happen. The hope that we have, and this is something that I've been trying to say for a while, the hope that we have is to mobilize, is to get it together so that we can take the House and the Senate in 2026. If we don't do that, we give him a bigger majority, he gets two more years of doing whatever the hell he wants. We're going to go through two years of that for the most part. There's not a super majority happening like they're going to still have to work with Democrats in some type of way. They're going to have to get bipartisan support. And we know that there are also liberal, you know, more liberal leaning conservative um, Republicans out there as well that are in the House and Senate. But for the most part, with him having the House and the Senate, he's going to get to do a lot. If we don't mobilize, if we don't get it together and take back the House and Senate in 2026, he gets two more years of a pretty much lame duck term because there won't be any guardrails. There's no reason for him to care because he can't run again. We're going to see a lot happening. So holding out hope for him being sentenced to prison, that ship has sailed. That train has gone. Okay? The hope we have is to get back the House and Senate in 2026. And that way, we have a better chance of getting the presidency in 2028. That is the hope we have. The rest of it is a pipe dream. And unfortunately, they are laughing at the fact that that they lied and they got away with it. The only thing we can do to punish them is to take back the House and the Senate in 2026 and take back the White House in 2028, period. 
Don't want no enemies or ops. Envy in they heart, I tell them stop. Vacation on the yacht.